Believe it or not, title of my stream is the most hated player in Rocket League. It is not about me. A bro really hates Rettles. I have no idea how Rettles got brought into this, but <laughs> sure, buddy. It all starts from one tweet. <laughs> one tweet on April 1st of all days. I mean, really. And it was from one man, VK Salen. He said, this will be my new squad for the second split of the Sub-Saharan Africa RLCS Team Mobula, a full Spanish roster. Who could be more excited than the comments? Let's take a peek. <laughs> Couple vamos. Oh, there's a couple clowns there. This has to be April Fools. April Fools? LaMau! <laughs> bye bye, major spot. Go farm. So, anyway, they go into SSA, full Spanish roster, and I believe they actually went to Cape Town. And I think they might have stayed there. I actually, I should actually add to this immediately before the rest of the, uh, the conversation. I think that majority of this is a massive issue with Epic Games and the ruling that allows players to just be able to play in any region without even moving to the region. I don't know if these guys even moved to the region or if they were there. I believe they were there temporarily. I don't think they actually moved. Regardless, Team Mobula ends up going to SSA. They 4-2 the finals in the first one, so they win it. They 4-2 the finals in the second uh, regional, so they win it. And then in the third one, they also 4-1 the grand final. So they end up making the major. Now, I also want to point out that if you look at SSA as a whole, just the region in general, you take a peek. And there's actually, I believe, seven teams that have no players in SSA. But there's, a, there's basically a bunch of teams that are already in SSA that are just not SSA players, they're not SSA natives. And so they're just moving to essentially try to take a free spot or what is believed to be a free spot. So, you know, in itself, in essence, I think moving to other regions to compete is not necessarily like a bad thing. I think it's a little bit, it's, I would say it's a lot more disrespectful and a lot more uh, bully material <laughs> when you move to a region such as SSA. And the, the main reason I say that about SSA specifically is because SSA in general, South Africa in general, you know, being a gamer, is not even a great thing in South Africa because you have to deal with load shedding. And load shedding is where the, the you know, your city, your neighborhood, or your county, whatever, you know, your state, whatever they call it over there, they basically have mandatory blackout periods for your electricity. And sometimes that lasts for about two hours, sometimes it lasts for eight hours. And it's not as if these like electric blackout periods are not during the peak hours of the day. So it's like, oh, you have to play an RLCS? Well, okay, hold on. We have to stall a little bit because there's a blackout period in my neighborhood. Hold on, I gotta pump up the generator. Vroom, vroom. I'm not even kidding, by the way. This is actually what happens. There's a bunch of people who have to play with generators. They have to turn back on their power because they don't. They, they legitimately do not have access to a, access to electricity for 24 hours a day. Every day. Every day this happens. And I think it's, uh, you know, with SSA specifically, it's coming from a place of privilege to be able to go and then move to a place or, you know, play in a region to be able to take the spot. That's my main complaint with the whole thing. You know, I understand it's like an epic rule that they allow that sort of thing, but I think this should be, in essence, a massive call to Epic Games to remove this shitty fucking rule that people said was shitty from the very beginning. I don't understand how they just let this thing fly. But regardless, hey, I digress. I digress. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about VK Sailor. You know, I think in essence, moving to S SSA is a or you know playing in SSA is a bad thing. Moving to other regions, I think it's not as big of a deal. They go on and they end up winning. And VK Sailor is the tenth player in the history of RLCS or being an RLCS regional champ in two different regions. First one doing it in this way. I'm so happy with this project. I don't know what that means in this way. Maybe it's meaning moving to SSA. But then the replies, Atso just adding a chronic. Brother, this ain't a flex. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. We hate you. Nobody sees this as a positive, but everybody is just absolutely wailing on this guy. And, and there's more, you know, and then they make London. We made London. They made the major. Let's go. And he also puts a South African flag for, uh, I don't know what reason, to be honest. Maybe because he qualified from SSA or something, but... Hey, don't care. Too shit to play in your own region. Joy, joy, joy. Too bad you didn't make worlds, but GG's. Couldn't do it in SAM or EU. Can't even win your own region. So there's a lot of people. Why'd you put the S SA flag? There's a lot of people who obviously hate this. And honestly, this could continue. Oh, hold on. I have to get to this. This one was funny. Okay, this one was funny. Team Mobula, SSA, our regional four champs. And, uh, you know, I'm not gonna act like... Let me also throw this out there. VK Salen, for a long time, has been uh, uh, a character that has been hated. And I wouldn't say it's unwarranted. 
you know, some of the stuff he's said in ranked, he's just been a little bit toxic at times, or, you know, his tweets in the past or something like that. There's nothing like, I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything crazy controversial. He's just a little toxic sometimes. So, you know, it's not to say that like this hate comes out of nowhere. But anyway, Team Mobula ends up winning the fourth regional and Atto puts a little sleeper emoji. And then Carmine Corp will officially not be in London. VK Salen puts a sleeper emoji. Oh no. And Batira replies with the invisible trophy gift, which is uh, always iconic. And I I'll be honest, I think Batira has been one of the biggest perpetrators in the VK Salen hate train. They also SSA, or not SSA, uh, Mobile had the opportunity because of this tweet to play in a show match versus Carmine Core. Since they can't play each other in London, I vote for a Casey versus Mobula show match at Johnny Boy. And one of the players for uh, Mobula, Lioro says, we don't do show matches against teams who doesn't make majors. So it's not even just VK Salen making himself hateable. And I would say at this point in time, Besides the KC tweet, the sleeper emoji tweet, VK Salen hasn't even done anything to really make himself hateable besides, you know, going to SSA. But he hasn't really said much besides the stuff way in the past. And so obviously people reply to this, cook somewhere else. Team Mobulon trying to get people to hate them. I'm interested. <laughs> I hate that. But basically, they have like this big ego of going to SSA and taking the spot. Oh, even on his birthday tweet, bro. I had to bring this one out. Happy 21st birthday to VK Salen. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's insane. No, there's actually so much hate towards this guy. It's ridiculous. And at this point, I'm like, is it warranted? Like, because I'm scrolling through all these tweets. I'm like, he, okay, you know, he just moved to SSA if you, if you hate it. It's one thing. I get it. I can understand a little bit, but it's a lot. Team Mobula arrived in London. Vatira. Oh, shit. He said something in fr French. What did he say? Wait for me to summon things. I don't know what that means. That That's scary, though. Team Mobula departed from London. <laughs> Gonna be back at the airport very soon. They better stay in the airport. It won't take much time for them to go home anyway. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I guess they were right because Team Mobula went 03 and Limitless has now clinched the world spot at the world championship. Good thing they are bringing all this great land experience back to the region. Oh, wait, this is Snowy, by the way. He plays for Limitless. Uh, I would say at the moment, probably the second best team in SSA. They lost the spot to Mobula. And they're also representing SSA at Worlds. So they will be the team for SSA over Mobula, which, hey, there's actually SSA representation at the World Championship, which is dope. But anyway, he said, uh, good thing they're bringing back all this land experience. Oh, wait, because clearly they're not going to. VK Salem replies, it's our first time in land and we won more games than you in your entire career at land. Oh, wait. Ooh, burn. Okay, talk your shit. Talk your shit, VK Salen. So they go to LAN and they win more games than all of the times that Limitless has been at LAN. But wait, <laughs> there's a community note and a tweet from the statistician of RLCS that shows he's wrong. And actually, Snowy has a much better win rate at LAN and they have 10 wins, including two full series wins. Oh, you messed up. No, oh, brother, no. He was talking that shit and he was wrong. So he got absolutely dunked on by Direct. And, you know, 2.1k, I, I gotta like that too. Jorby, you know, oh my god. <laughs> Not the JT picture. So yeah, he was wrong. Stay humble. There is no way you are flexing a one and nine. Yeah, they did. They went one and nine at the major. And so he was flexing that bad boy. Uh, this one was kind of confusing. This one kind of came out of nowhere. This is Saturday after they were already eliminated. He makes a PowerPoint presentation uh, about reasons why we are better than KC sample text. This one was confusing. I'm gonna be honest. I, <laughs> you know, I kind of know where it came from because they've always been talking shit, but let's just watch. We qualified for London Major. Where is Carmine? Oh, where could they be? We won three regionals this split. Carmine Core zero. Okay. They missed a regional and we qualified with our champ three sub. Okay. Let's not talk about EU versus SSA, but it's all good. We are Spanish. Go to country. Because Vatira says Spanish and goat doesn't go in the same sentence, mate. <laughs> Insert title. Classic. Thanks for watching. And here's the perpetrator himself. <laughs> but once I saw this, I realized that at this point, it all just has to be bait. I it, it, it all came to me. Everything about this, him going to Cape Town to play in SSA, it's all just one big bait. 
You know what I mean? It's all for that. You guys will go down as the most undeserving team to ever make a major. And the hate continues. It's nonstop. There's a lot of French. I'm not going to translate all of it. And then everything crumbs crumbling. <laughs> How would he even say crumbling? Speaking of the bait, I think today was probably the biggest rage bait tweet I've ever seen. And especially from VK Salen. But one of the biggest rage bait tweets I've ever seen in Rocket League history. And it got everybody riled up. Even It even got me to make a tweet, bro. And like, I'm usually one to not join the dog pile because I feel like it's always a bit much. But, some, but I was like, I was reading it and I was like, wait a sec, he wants me to tweet. <laughs> He, he he actually enjoys people talking shit, so I'm gonna help him out. I'm gonna actually add to the conversation and give him exactly what he wants. But anyway, the tweet goes on to say, Every day I spent in London made me more, wait, made me think more that I made the right decision on taking over the SSA spot. None of the minor regions deserve this when other players that deserve it more because of their level or on COVID era lost their opportunity. And I would assume that means like the land getting canceled. And I think VK Salen at the time was like near the top of EU and the land got canceled. And so he couldn't compete at the land. So he's still spiteful of that moment. I hope players around the world see what we have done and do the same. Going to this, uh, going to the minor regions to take their spot until real good players from those continents improve to take their spot back. That's how things should be done. Prioritize competitive level not just having a spot because you think you deserve it. Now, look, what he's saying to me is wrong. This last sentence is not even that bad, to be honest. Prioritize competitive level, not just having a spot because you think you deserve it. I don't, yeah, I don't think teams should be gifted a spot, but I think there should be representatives from every single region. I think it's a different conversation. Regardless, I don't think this is how team should, how this should be done of players traveling to go take the spots. I don't think that's the same thing. So he's also saying that there's a lot of players that don't deserve the spot and there's a lot of replies uh, obviously about that. And I, I actually, my reply is first I have here. So I say, no way this wasn't rage bait. My brother, with no due respect, you are one of those undeserving players you speak of. <laughs> And he was the worst performing player at the lane event. He was the worst performing player. He had a 0.662 rating at the lane event. He was the worst performing player. Anyway, Vatira replies as well. He said, if I am from France, I play in EU. If you're from SSA, you play in SSA. If players in SSA are bad, then let them improve with majors, which is most people's take on this. And he said, you really think the teams will improve at major? I don't think he... I don't think English is first language, but I don't think he meant that. You really think the teams will improve at major after all of this time? Uh, that they made nothing but lost. Uh, basically, they spent so much time competing at international events, but they haven't made any progress. You're lying straight to people's faces. And then Vadira says, you and O3 and Swiss, the same as them. And if I can add, of course they can improve. They can watch back their games against top teams, but you should compete in EU and actually try to get better with your team in your region. But nah, man, go for the money more than passion. Sad. <laughs> So Vatira is basically saying, if you're going to talk all this shit and talk about undeserving players, why don't you do it in the region you're from? Why don't you do it in Europe? Why don't you compete from Spain? If you're talking about all that shit uh, and talking about being deserving as a player. And he says, go for the money. We're the only team to actually travel to SSA and not play from home. All this stuff. Uh, also, you think they're going to improve with nine replays over three months while they're always being stopped? Again, you're lying to the people uh, to make your take. Now, I don't, I don't really understand this logic because he's talking about getting nine replays every three months which makes sense but he also went okay to be fair wait hold on to be fair he did not go and get nine replays he actually got 10 replays um because they did win one game they went one and nine which also adds to Ahmad's response here and he said your record is supposed to be 0 and 9 my bad <laughs> and the reason he said that is because Ahmad was uh part of the team that gave him the one win <laughs> So he said, my bad, everybody. I should have made these guys 0 and 9. That's on me. That's on me. Hey, but Ahmad, we forgive you, big dog. We forgive you. But this is the craziest part about this whole ordeal is I've never seen more pro players shit talk one person. Like when it's like the community saying stuff, most of the time the pro players stay quiet a lot of times. 
and they won't say stuff. They won't add to the thing. But there's just this big divide, not even divide. There's this big hatred <laughs> for them taking the SSA spot. And it's, it's Vatir. Oh my God, Garrett tweeted. I didn't even see this one. I got to read that shit fresh. Hot off the press, hot off the press. Bro, I honestly don't think as many people would care if you just didn't act this way. Exactly. You are taking away an opportunity from region. At least be respectful and thankful. The rules are the rules. I can understand that. But acting this way is not the move. <laughs> Another Garrett G win. But dead ass, bro. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't make this tweet i wouldn't do join in on the dog pile but like the way he the way all of this is happening is like he fucking he wants it bro he wants the smoke he wants the hate i think that the, the biggest thing to me about this is this should not be allowed they should not let players from other regions compete in other regions like this i think that again like i ma we made this argument on shotcast a hundred times i feel like but there should at least be one player from the region that you're competing in it should at least be one person preferably two to be honest like if the team was two south african players and then vk salen whatever i don't think most people give a shit at that point every day he's talking about his london and it's vk salen's results <laughs> it's vk salen's results wait the liquipedia rl tweeted this bro it's his results page and it's the s tier tweet for worst tweet of the year <laughs> Okay, that's kind of fire. That's, I've never, I did not see that one. But even then, there's more quote tweets just hating on this guy, bro. They're just cooking him. The way, to me, what, it, what should work is like if, if Mobula wanted their team, right? They should have two South African players and VK Salem. If they want a full Spanish team, have uh, two South African players and one Spanish player. Then, whenever you may, ever make a trade or the next season, then bring in another Spanish player. Then it's two Spanish players. And then bring in another one like that makes more sense than just being able to bring the whole roster but i still think truthfully there should be one player like i don't think you should be able to just bring in one spanish player one spanish player then one spanish player and then it's full spanish i think it should be one spanish player one spanish and then one south african it should be guaranteed it doesn't have to be south african but one player from ssa and like like i said this i mean he has to be the most hated player the most hated pro rocket league player